in the first ever episode of Pitch Six. I didn't hear about the sales level. You know, do you have sales? What's your revenue model and who's paying you? Five local entrepreneurs will get a once in a lifetime chance to pitch their ideas before a group of successful and business savvy investors in the community. That's what investors always want to hear about. I'd like to see the billion though. Okay. <laughs> when I think of document management, my eyes gloss over. These local startup companies will get six minutes in the spotlight. The judges will select a winner to receive up to $30,000 in valuable production and advertising on Bright House Networks. This extra exposure could be crucial in boosting these startup companies out of their early stages and to the next level. I left school early and I'm hungry. Our first business owner is Kimberly Munzo, the CEO of Aspire EDU. What you are going to hear in the next six minutes is going to help someone that you know to get a college degree. Kimberly has spent over a decade developing new innovations in education that help students stay in school. Does it really lead to retention, do you think? Our second business owner is Brett Toby, the co-founder of Carvoyant. We help make it easy for developers to help you connect your car to the rest of your life. Brett hopes that through his product, he can bring the cars of the future into the now. That's a big concern, because how do you get millions of these units out? Next up is CEO Adam Roof and CIO Christopher Burns, who make up the executive team for Drive Digital Group. Drive Digital Group is a full-service digital marketing agency for the automotive niche. Working together, Adam and Chris hope to send automobile franchises ahead of the curve. As long as they give you enough money, you'll keep away from their competitors. Anna Abraham is the CEO of MB2X. We're a custom software development company here in Tampa Bay. Anna hopes to continue growing her company through personalized software support. How are you going to survive when the big guys that are out there are coming into town? Finally, we have Chris Arnoldi, CEO of Awesome. I'm going to show you today in the next six minutes why we're Tampa's best startup company. Chris hopes to improve web design through his talented team of developers. You, know, you hit this thing out of the park with a grand slam. Will they be crushed under the pressure of the pitch? What were their sales to get a billion dollars? Or will they rise to the challenge and take their business to the next level? Nice job, Chris. Um, I think you had a perfect pitch. It's a big industry. My question is, are they really going to be able to sell that data? You know, and who's going to buy it? That's what I want to hear. I think they're thinking about the business the right way. Find out which companies withstood the pressure in the full episode airing on Bright House Networks. The time is now.